<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna install our brand new Ultimate Tech Hub neon sign on the back wall. We bought this sign about two weeks ago from a company called Sculpt Neon Signs. And FYI, we are not sponsored by Sculpt Neon Signs. We have no affiliation with them at all. We chose this company for a few different reasons. One was price. We got a great deal on Black Friday, about $140 off. Second reason was the style choices. They had a lot of colors and a lot of styles. And third reason was the fast turnaround time. It took about 14 days from the time we ordered it to the time it was delivered. So with price, options, and a fast turnaround time, Sculpt Neon Signs was the perfect choice. And we paid a little bit extra for the remote. I think it was about $30. You can control everything on here from the brightness. You can dim it. You can flash. And you can turn it off. And to make this neon sign pop, I chose a clear backing. This way, when we install it on the wall, it'll appear like it's floating. And one more thing, these neon signs do come with a mounting hardware, which includes seven screws, seven wall anchors, and seven standoffs. And they simply attach at these points right here. So without further ado, let's get this sign installed. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, it's completely free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take down these soundproof panels. They're not very straight. So I'm taking those down, then I'll put this up here like here. It'll look good. And then I may add the panels back above it, make it look a little straighter. Plan is to do this right here. All right, now I've got a pencil and simply we're gonna mark where I want to put this. And then I can use a level to kind of make it look a little straighter. It's important to do this one time and one time correctly. You're right there, it looks pretty good. Left and right seem pretty centered. All right, so now we can start drilling. I did lay a towel behind here to cover up the computer for dust. I don't want dust getting in here, my computer, or any of the areas in the back. So now we'll start drilling. This is the bit I'm gonna use. And this is what we're gonna do, drill a hole. We'll hammer an anchor into that hole. We'll end up screwing this in. This is like a standoff kind of thing, attachment, sit like that. And we'll screw it in tight. Then what this does is goes over the sign and, clips, and clamps it to this right here. It's like this. It's got a little washer here, rubber washer as well. All right, let's get started. Okay, here comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and drill here. So my neon sign has eight mounting holes, but the installation kit only has seven screws. So make sure you don't drill eight holes. And FYI, this sign is very lightweight. All right, let's hammer in the drywall anchors with a hammer. I forgot my hammer, of course. So do one here. Like I said earlier, I paid around $30 for the remote. And I do love the remote control features. You can add brightness or dim it, turn it on and off. You can have the neon sign flash. But one feature I wish they would have added to the remote would be a scheduling feature to turn on and off the neon sign. I would love to have the neon sign on a schedule and a timer as well. Those two additional features would have been perfect for the remote. But otherwise, I do love the remote control and all the features. And this hole right here did not need a wall anchor. We drilled into a solid 2x4. Now it's time to screw in all 7 standoffs. And while you're watching the video, make sure to hit subscribe. It's free. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and leave a comment. It helps the algorithm. Thanks. Okay, now it's time to put the light up. It should be pretty easy. We'll go one at a time with these right here. Should be one like right that. What's great about this neon sign, it's very lightweight. And this is due to the fact that it's not made with a typical neon sign material. It's not made of glass. This neon sign is made with LED neon tubes, which are safe, affordable, durable, and friendly to the environment. And no matter how long you run this neon sign, it does not get hot. 
so now it's time to run the wire through the hole in the desk. These are the connections right here to the remote control. You plug this in here, connects to the remote control. I'm gonna mount this underneath the desk here. But first, I'm gonna run this through the hole right here where the rest of the wires are. Make a nice clean look out of it. Let's go down here and grab and pull. Once everything is plugged in, we're gonna mount this underneath the desk. Then this one will plug underneath here, like so. That. This is the power supply. You need to plug it underneath. I've got plenty of room under here for plenty of plugs. So I'll plug that in. I'll plug this in. That. And with a trusty remote. There. Turn it off. Turn it on. All right. Success. I will add the soundproof back above this to finish it off, give it a nice clean look up top. I'll make sure it's straight though. We'll do that off camera. I'm gonna mount everything underneath the desk off camera as well. All right guys, we're all done. The neon sign is mounted. It looks great. All the wiring is hidden under the desk. This is a complete success. Sculpt Neon Signs did a fantastic job designing and building our neon sign. And guys, remember, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. And for God's sakes, hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.